Hi guys, this is Hellbus. Welcome back to another video. <clears throat> so the last video we ranked the songs off of Rush's third album, Caress of Steel. Now we are on one of their most awesome albums of all time, and it's really, it's it it will always live on to be a classic. Twenty one twelve. We're gonna be ranking all six songs on this album. Not many songs, once again. Great album, though. You have to listen to it if you haven't. Like, my god, it is a masterpiece, especially the title track. Um, so uh, let's start. Uh, there's six songs. I love every single one, but something has to be at the bottom. This is a really, really great album. It's definitely in my top five Rush albums. Top three? Oh, yeah, definitely top three, but um, it's not my favorite Rush album. I'm gonna say that. Um, but it's definitely in the top three, because it is just, my god, it is amazing. You have to listen to it if you haven't. So, there are six tracks, and let's get into this. Uh, number six is, um, just a beautiful song. I think it's really somber also. Um, number six is Tears. Very, 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 very great song, I think. Uh, but something has to be at the bottom, and I just, I love it a lot. It's really great. Uh, number five, um, uh, once again, really, really great song. You have to listen to it if you haven't. Uh, Lessons. Uh, another great song. Uh, number four, and this was written after the TV show, and there's actually a marathon of it going on on sci-fi, I think. Sci-fi, AMC, I think sci-fi. Um, I don't know. But, uh, number four is The Twilight Zone. Very great song, I think. Uh, by the way, if you have not listened to the 40th anniversary edition of, um, this album, go check it out. It is awesome. They also did one for A Farewell to Kings and Hemispheres. That means, I hope they'll do one for Permanent Waves. Moving Pictures, they'll definitely do one, because it's their, like, most, like... It's probably their best-selling album. And yeah, So yeah, number four is The Twilight Zone. Very great song. Uh, top three. Number three. Many people would have this at number two. I used to have it at number two, but it's number three now. Number three is A Passage to Bangkok. Now, my dad loves the live version better because, well, it's Cowbell instead of Alex Lifeson's or if you know, and it said it kind of sounds like China, and then my dad's like, "Yeah, it sounds like China, Bangkok, it's Thailand." <laughs> so, like I don't understand that either. Um, but in concert, Sneil Pert does the cowbell. It's like dun, 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 dun. very, very great um, <clears throat> drumming. And uh, yeah, number three is a passage to Bangkok. Definitely one of the a great opener to side two. I would say very, very great. Number two, this is the closer to the whole album. And this is one of the greatest closers of all time. Other than A Day in the... Well, A Day in the Life is better. But other than this, this is a really great closer. Um, and it's a short album. And a short album to close it on. Uh, but number two is Something for Nothing. Very, very great. And number one, now you saw this coming. Number one is 2112, the title track. It's... I think my second favorite Rush song. If you want to know what my favorite Rush song is, you're going to have to wait till um, Moving Pictures comes out. Uh, so, that was my list. Oh, and uh, 2112 has, in, has is an epic, so it has, like, parts. So, I'm going to show you that. Um, part 1, Overture. Part 2, The Temples of Syrinx. Part 3, Discovery. Part 4, Presentation. Part 5, Oracle the Dream. Part f uh, 6, Soliloquy and part seven grand finale. I'm going to show you that right there. That's 2112. And look how long this song is. Their longest song. It's a really great epic. You have to listen to it if you haven't. Also, something I have to mention um, Neil Pert usually writes um, all the songs. Uh, on here it says all uh, tracks written by Neil Pert. Except tracks four and five. Tracks, track four, Lessons, which is written by Alex Lifeson. And track five, Tears, written by Getty Lee. You know, it's actually really rare to see an Alex Lifeson written song. It's rare to see that. Uh, and yeah. Uh, and Alex Lifeson did a good job writing Lessons. Lessons is a really good song, I think. 
So yeah, I wish this video went on long. It was a short video. It went by quickly. I really love this album. Everything in it is awesome. Uh, the album cover is also awesome. It's the iconic star. I'll, I'll show you it right like this. Iconic. Just iconic. Oh, I forgot it was released on April Fool's Day. Or April 1st. And... It's just awesome. It will live on to be a classic. And this is the thing. Um, Early's Rush. Like, Early Rush. Like, from... I would say from their debut album to... Um... From, uh... uh moving... From their debut album to Moving Pictures. All of it is just... I would say from... From their debut album to music... To Moving Pictures. I would say everything is a 10 out of 10. Um, Signals to Power Windows, still 10 out of 10s also, and then the rest of their discography, some are 10s, some are maybe 9s, 8s, I don't know, but I know for sure their last two albums are 10 out of 10s, or maybe last three, I don't know, but because their third to last album was Vapor Trails, which is a pretty good album, I had it, I have it on CD, um, we don't have many Rush albums, but, uh, we have Moving Pictures on vinyl, uh, we have, <clears throat> I said Vapor Trails, I think we have permanent waves somewhere. I, I don't know. But the next album we're going to be reviewing is, once again, another classic um, release with another 40th anniversary. Oh, but speaking of the 40th anniversary, it says right here. Um, So there's 10 uh, other, there's 10 additional stuff. So um, Solar Federation, which is the end. Attention all planets of the Solar Federation at the end of 2112. Uh, Overture performed by uh, Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins, and Nick Rascul. I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> and I love Foo Fighters. Um, so yeah, it was so yeah, they're played by Foo Fighters. By the way, in one of my Nirvana uh, videos, I accidentally, um, I I accidentally said that um Dave Grohl was the drummer for Foo Fighters. Taylor Hawkins is the drummer for Foo Fighters. Dave Grohl plays guitar. Yeah, I got mixed up because Dave Grohl played drums for Nirvana. So yeah, Nick Raskulin is X. I don't know. Um, and I love Foo Fighters, so I'm sorry if I messed it up. Um, A Passage to Bangkok performed by Billy Talent. Tw uh, the Twilight Zone performed by uh Stephen Wilson. Tears performed by Allison Chains. Something for Nothing performed by Jacob Moon. Twenty One Twelve live at Massey Hall outtake. Something for Nothing live at Massey Hall outtake. The Twilight Zone Live 1977 Contraband and 2112 1976 Radio Ad. That's what the the new like the 40th anniversary. So they came out with the 40th anniversary for 2112, A Farewell to Kings and Hemispheres. So I I hope there's one for Permanent Waves. There's definitely going to be one for Moving Pictures. I think. Kind of like how there's going to be a 50th anniversary. Well, there's been, for the Beatles, there's been a 50th anniversary for Sgt. Pepper and the White Album so far. I think they made a mistake. They should have done a 50th anniversary for Revolver. They made a mistake on that. And they're definitely going to come out with a 50th anniversary of Abbey Road. That'll come out, oh my god, this year. Abbey Road is turning 50 this year. Oh my god. God, time is going by fast. Even though I wasn't born in 1969. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so yeah. A Farewell to Kings will be up next. Please leave a like, comment if you want, view my videos, and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Hal Busco, signing off.